building a conch shell. So we've been getting a lot of requests on asking us how we clean our shells that are all a little bit dirty. So we're gonna show you how we do that. So we found this conch shell free diving in the Florida Keys. How deep were we? About 10 feet. 10, 15 feet. And one of the things we look for in these shells, we always wanna make sure that there's no living organisms in them before we find them. So you can tell this one's got a lot of growth on it. We're gonna to try to clean it up a little bit. This is a queen helmet conch shell. And I'll show you. So a couple tools you're gonna to need to get started cleaning these conch shells. First one is a nice wire brush. We'll use this to kind of scrape off some of the crustiness. Another tool we use is this flat nose screwdriver. We use this to pick off some of the stubborn parts. Uh, also a little dental tool, this little pick right here. Uh, again, any stubborn parts, we can kind of get up underneath it with this. Uh, we also use sandpaper in case we need to sand it down a little bit. And we finish it off with a little mineral oil or baby oil to give it a nice little shine. This shell's got a lot of growth on it. The first thing we did, we set it out in the sun to dry for about a day, 24 hours, until that growth gets nice and crusty. And now what we'll do, we'll hit it with a wire brush. You can see that dust just coming right off of it. And we should find some nice color. Okay. So you can see on here, there's a couple little big patches, flat nose screwdriver to get up underneath, just kind of pick these off. Scrape them off. These ones are being a little stubborn, so we'll try the dental tool. And what we want to do with this one, find a little spot to get underneath, like right there, and we just chip away. It's pretty tedious work. You gotta have a lot of patience, but it should pay off in the end. Should have a nice, beautiful shell here. already start seeing some of the color coming off on it. So we hit this shell with the brush and the picks and we've got some of the gunk off of it. Starting to see some color. But what I like to do with the stubborn shells like this I'll leave them in bleach water for a little while. So this is a mix, it's about one part bleach and four parts water. So I'll just drop the shell in there, let that sit for probably 12 hours. I don't like to let it sit too long. Sometimes the bleach will take uh, the color off the nice pretty shells, but uh, we'll leave it for a few hours and see what happens. All right, so our shell's been sitting in this bleach water overnight for about 12 hours now. We're gonna check it out do a little more scrubbing so here she is so we're already starting to see some nice color coming on this thing bleach really did the trick last night so from now I'm gonna hit it with the wire brush again just kind of go until I get tired and then I'll put it back in the bleach water again it's kind of a long process very tedious this thing's already looking beautiful So this thing's been sitting in the bleach water for a couple more hours. Look at that, that color really starting to come out on it. We're ready for our last step here. Sometimes these shells, when they dry up, they get this little chalkiness going to them. So we're just gonna rub a little bit of oil on here. Uh, I use baby oil, some people use mineral oil. But watch, this is gonna shine it right up. Just a little drop will do. You can already see some of that color starting to come back. This one was super, super dry. So I'm going to rub it in there pretty good. And uh, just like humans, no shell's perfect. 
This one's got some holes, a couple scars on it. But uh, all in all, a beautiful little shell. Awesome. All right, you guys, thanks so much for tuning in to this video. Before we leave you, we just want to show you guys our shell collection, some of the shells we found and cleaned up over the years. This is a horse conch, one of my favorites. Sparrow found this one after Hurricane Irma. Beautiful candy corn color. This is a queen conch. There's a couple queen conchs. So with the queen conchs, um, you want to make sure that there's no holes in the um, crown. And also you want to make sure if there's an animal, never take it. You want to leave it. Um, Good way to check. Uh, we, when we find the shells underwater, sometimes we'll check if there's sand in there. Uh, if there's sand in there, then there's usually not an animal living in it. But always double check. There's a spider conch from Saudi Arabia. This one was gifted to us. Super cool. Nice little spikes on there. Some more conks, um, some more helmets, little babies. Got a whole family of helmet conks. There's dad, there's mom, all the kids. <laughs> this is the one that we cleaned up here. So you see much different from how we found it. Now here's some of our larger ones here. This is my favorite. Look at those zebra stripes. Feral so also cool. found this one off our beach. Beautiful.